when someone's operating in witchcraft, the same spell, mesmerizing spirit that was on Adolf Hitler. Yes, it was, Mark. Yes, it was. It was on Obama, and it's on some of these charismatic leaders as well. It's on some of these prophetic leaders as well. It's a mesmerizing witchcraft spirit. It is it is a spell that is cast upon the people to mesmerize them. Oh my, look what an anointed man or woman of God they are. Look, look at the talent that this man or woman has. It's not about talent. It's about anointing from God himself, guys. I'm, I'm, again, read the signs. If they're well-spoken, well-dressed, and, and, and this, that, the other. Let me give you a prime example. They just promoted someone, okay? They did. They, they promoted someone, and Lance Wall now and Chuck Pierce promoted her on stage, and it was Anna Kate. Now, I'm not slamming Anna. I'm just simply stating what, 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 was, what has happened here, okay? They promoted her out of Lance Wall now's own mouth. He said that we don't normally do this with someone who's been saved for only three years. Go back to my testimony of what I what I showed and what I told people what, what, they did, what they did to me. I see them doing the same thing to her they did to me. Why? They see her as a money maker. Why would out of Lance's own mouth he would say, we don't normally do this for someone who's been saved for three years? And then he begins to prophesy over her. It's because they see her as a money maker. I've been saying for a long time that they were, they're gonna to try to turn her into another Paula White. I didn't realize it till the other day. I was looking at the whiteboard. Yes, I'm bringing up the whiteboard. Okay. Her name with an arrow, I just noticed it the other day, is pointing to none other than Paula White. Hmm. So you have a lot of stuff going on here behind the scenes that people don't question. You need to be questioning everything that these people do right now. Because this is the church cabal in action, folks. So I'm telling you, they did it with me. They literally did it with me. They they said, you don't understand. Your 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 uh, prophetic words are selling our 25 year international reputation. We you don't understand. This is a Christian business, a Christian business, a Christian business. Three times they said this. They said you can have lands, boats, cars, homes. I sat back in my seat. I'm like, are you kidding me? They wanted me to submit my prophetic words to them, Chris. I said I will not submit my prophetic words to you. I don't submit to anyone except for Jesus Christ, who is the spirit of prophecy, period. Why? Because they don't want correction. See, this is a correction that God is giving tonight. God's trying to correct his people. He's trying to get them out of a system because he loves them enough. He doesn't want the judgment of God to fall upon them. These arrogant leaders in the 501c3 who are leading people astray are about to go down. I'm telling you, it's coming. And so God, the sands run out of the hourglass. I love people enough to know that say, I want to, if I offend them, so be it. I don't care, but at least I got them out of the system, and it was a rescue mission, which is what this has been about from the very beginning. Yes, it has. But these guys don't want it. The first, I'll give you an example of this. The, every time, that I the last, I don't know how many prophetic words I have in here that are words of correction, Chris. The elite, the church cabal, do not want to hear it. That's what got me in trouble with the uh, church cabal, if you will, and why they blacklisted me on every single channel that I was on. Every single show that I've been on, I have been blacklisted because they didn't want the correction. What did Steve Schultz just do to me? A month and a half ago, he went public attacking the 501c3 because he was tired of hearing it, people calling in questioning. Good for you guys that were questioning it. God bless you. It's about time people start calling these people and holding them accountable, yeah. period. So what did he do? He attacked me and said that it didn't pass the Smith test. See, the first thing they do when you give them a word of correction is they label you as a false prophet, and then they label the word as a false prophecy because they don't want to hear it. It's the arrogance that God is tired of. 